Law Warrior Online, Corsair Ravager. The long decline and loss of technology that arose from the centuries of warfare during the Succession Wars hit hardest in the periphery. The periphery itself was already looked down on as the frontiers of human-occupied space, filled with the Innisphere's cast-offs. While the Innisphere settled into a culture of salvage and refurbishment, those dregs of humanity, devolving into pirate kingdoms and dictatorships, were forced even further into desperation. Out there, battle mechs were not simply field repaired. They were all too often mashups, with whole parts, including skeletons, grafted in on an effort to field equipment that could still fight. The heavier such Franken mechs are often also referred to as Corsairs, though no exact weight or chassis applies. Instead, Corsairs are these desperate chop shop heavy and assault battle mechs forged from parts from a variety of different mechs, whatever can be found on forgotten battlefields. One such Corsair briefly gained notoriety, Ravager, piloted by Jake Kalmar from the Oberon Confederation. In a string of successes, Kalmar built a pirate crew and waged a campaign of pillaging and terror ranging far afield from the Confederation. Verified reports place their raids upwards of 200 light years from the Confederation, though, for whatever reason, Kalmar always cycled back to his home territory. A dangerous pilot and a brilliant leader, Kalmar nevertheless made the fatal mistake of being too successful. A steady stream of witnesses claimed Kalmar's battlemech wielded advanced technologies, which raised the interest of Interstellar Expeditions, an organisation dedicated to finding and protecting lost technology and secrets from mankind's past. They contracted with one of their long-term independent mercenary commands, Chloe's Cavaliers, to hunt down and discover the truth. Following the long march of jump ship passages into the periphery, the Cavaliers began hunting the pirates. After many months of tracking and several bloody skirmishes, they eventually herded Kalmar into his den on the frozen moon of Sigurd. There, after a dangerous fight, they defeated his Ravager and took the battle mech as their own. The 95-ton Ravager was indeed filled with Star League era technology, though mashed together in the most haphazard way possible. It housed an XL fusion engine, 15 double heat sinks, and a bevy of superlative weaponry a Gauss rifle, a large pulse laser, and an Ultra AC-5. A beast of an assault machine, despite its inevitable drawbacks from its Corsair nature, it was a battle mech that could anchor any line. It seemed astonishing that a pirate would have access to such technologies, regardless of their spit and balling wire nature, or that Hendrik Grimm III, the brutal dictator of the Oberon Confederation, would allow this pirate to retain a battle mech of such power, a secret the Cavaliers never did discover. While the pilot was killed and the rest of his cohorts scattered, the Cavaliers digging into Kalmar's records revealed only a single planet's name, Gibbet. After data mining, i.e.'s astrological charts, no record of this system was recovered. Perhaps another database might uncover this strange anomaly, but for now, the Ravager's origin remains a mystery. <laughs>